Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday streaming right here on Rage Select. I am Jeff, and and that's it because it's WrestleMania today. And as you guys know, um, John and Amanda have chosen to be with their first love, WrestleMania, and I have chosen to be with my first love, Dark Souls. So you're gonna just get me today, um, and we're gonna play some Dark Souls three. And I don't know how long, how far we're gonna get. Um, I have already beaten the game. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to play through it just a shitload of times. I mean, come on, y'all. That's just, that's, that's how it is. So, yeah, I'm going to, um, talk in, talk to the chat, uh, and answer some questions and play some Dark Souls. I want you guys to start, um, uh, thinking about what, oops, no, I don't want to log into the server. Uh, start thinking about what... Um, this new character, we're going to make a new character, uh, and we're going to make a new class. So start thinking about um, what class you guys want to be. You're right, Bushmaster. I am a, a lonely SOB. Ah, those lords of cinder. I like those guys. I wonder what those shells are they've got on their backs, though. But those are something from somewhere. Alex asks uh, Dark Souls 3 or Bloodborne. Um, Alex, I I've, I've always have a problem whenever a Souls game comes out where I, it comes out and I'm always like, eh, you know, I don't know, kind of. And then, like, I play it over the course of a year, and I'm just like, it's the best! It's the best game I've ever played! So I'm still kind of in that uh, uh, kind of period of evaluation right now. Like, I miss the fast-paced action in Bloodborne. Okay. Stupid Lord of Cinder. Oh, Aldrich. You big, fat... Jerk. Let's see. Time of Destruction asks, are the bosses harder in this game? I had some trouble with some of them, but I'm not entirely sure if that's because they're harder or because I'm just so familiar with all the other bosses at this point. It could be that one, you know, it's like one of those things where, you know, once you know the patterns, ah, fuck it, it's fine. Um... Postmodernism is actually, it does seem like it's a little bit more difficult than the previous Souls games. Like, there seem to be some enemies were just kind of fucking, like, up my ass. See, Rascals, the thing about embargoes is that they, they're really for people who signed a contract, so I'm not really, really under one. Uh, Final Fantasy King 9, I always play as a deprived or a waste of skin or whatever the least kitted out character class is, so I get a little bit more chance for customization over the course of a game. So my first character started as a deprived. Um, I've actually played a bunch of the opening with different deprives over time. Um, Jack Sax asks if the aesthetic in the game is closer to Demon Souls. Well, that's a good question. I don't know that I've really... It's, uh, it's really hard to kind of separate those two in my head. Yes. <laughs> Ruskell's asked Dark Souls 3 or Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, Salt and Sanctuary is a fine game, and I really enjoy it. It's no Dark Souls 3, though. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to take full-on chat suggestions for name, gender, and class here. Um, I'll, I'm willing to take whatever suggestions you guys have. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the Great Swamp Outcast. Oh, God, no, I can't do that. Let's make this... Uh, what about this guy? He looks... Uh, Serpentine Traveler. You know, th there's a thing in Dark Souls where... Um, <laughs> uh, I like butt stuff as a name. 
mage because you hate being a mage. I don't hate being a mage. It's just kind of easy mode. Um, make a female Michael Jackson, says Dr. Von Boogie. Ba Sparks B says I'm back with spaghetti. All right, so let's call our character. I, I you know it's like the first one. I really like butt stuff. <laughs> this stuff. Thanks. You guys, you guys got me to say it. You guys got me to say that on the mic. Butt stuff. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and make it a lady. Um, ooh, Quadborg. I don't know. Quadborg is. Butt stuff is good, but Quadborg might be better. Mage with no shield or armor. Okay. I'll, I'll go with a mage. I haven't played a mage yet. So, uh, sorcerer. Sorcerer or cleric. I mean, I, I, or uh, pyromancy. Um, I'll do either one. It doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make butt stuff old lady, because old ladies are great. Uh, let's see. Let's go with that old lady. I think I make fat old lady. Yeah, butt stuff is a fat old lady. Uh, let's see. Bum, 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 face detail. See, I, I always like to just you can spy stuff here with a slightly similar face. She looks angry as hell. Oh yeah, grandma, what are you doing here? Uh, so let's, yeah, and I like the idea of giving butt stuff a big, uh, big old beard, like a full beard. She's got like a, or like the, the metal, the rocketest metal beard. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Now let's see, what's the most, what's the worst hair? How about, uh, how about in honor of, uh, our dragon's crown playthrough, how about some pigtails? I like what I'm seeing here. Oh, this is, this is going good. I'm liking it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, let's see. On physique, we can make muscular. Muscular, fat, and old. And uh, let's just uh, let's change up this hair color a little bit. Let's see. Hair, facial hair, hair color. Oh, man. They don't have any of the wonky colors here. Well, that's all right. I know how to make, know how to make the colors go wonks. Oh. I like to go to anime conventions, young man. I feel like all the characters that we make have to have purple hair because uh, that was what, uh, okay, that was at 170, 50, and 210. All right. Oh, damn it. Damn it. 170, 210, 210. Okay, and brow. Oh, yeah, we need like a, oh, there it is, the unibrow. Yep, yep. Brow color. Uh... Let's see, 170 and 210. Oh, she's beautiful, man. Beard color, beard color. Oh, it's, it's great. The curtain, it matches everything. The curtains match all of the everything. 210 and 50. Oh, my God, look at that. That's just, oh, boy. Some big old eyelashes. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. Wait, do I have a pupils oh yeah let's uh give her some fucking yeah let's give her some crazy eyes Urgh. can i make those different colors oh hell yeah i can oh my god that's incredible and i love it and how about how about a big tattoo mark like right in the middle like i'm a dragon or let's see what else we got here i like the crow Ooh, wolverine marks uh, just a big sword Oh, praise the sun. I'm going to put I'm going to put the big I'm going to put it right in the middle of her face. Praise the sun says butt stuff. Butt stuff praises the sun all day long. Um let's see. Expansion. Make that shit big. Yeah. She was wild in her youth, man. She was like, I praise the sun left and right, front and center. All up and all down and all day long. Uh Boom. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. It's great. Can I change the color so that it's actually Oh no. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll make it I'll make it uh, Estus yellow. Oh, butt stuff. She's great. Look at her. She's fucking She's the best. All right. Uh so yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So, there we go. Good job, guys. Good job. You helped out. Real nice. Real nice. 
That's not a sun. That's no sun. You know, I think it's funny that um, uh, the game actually has a way to that you can like re you can not only respec but you can also like reset your your character like you can change the look of your character it's real weird yeah butt stuff rise from the grave and um what are we doing here praising the sun praise the moon something like that all right Illegal Sweet asks if I ever dream about the monstrous characters that I've created. No. I mean, sometimes maybe some good good dreams, but you know, not have bad dreams or anything. All right, so we got some soul arrow. Get these assholes being jerks. Oh, look at that. Butt stuff is doing butt stuff right up in the stuff. Hello. Fuck face. Right, got our ash and flask. You know, I like the fact that this little tutorial area is kind of the smallest that it's ever been in any Dark Souls game. Um, it's real easy to just get in here and get out of here. <sighs> oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna go kill the lizard. Killing the lizard. So this is a thing I didn't actually show. By the way, it should be noted that you know, if you haven't played this and you want to go in completely fresh, you probably should stop watching this because. I mean, I'm not going to go into, like, I'm not going to spoil anything. I don't even know if I really could spoil anything, but um, uh, regular soul arrow will suffice. Yeti13 says that uh, they were, uh, made a glass cannon and ran them through all Dark Souls 2, and it was fine right up until the DLC. Uh, I had the exact same... Oh, man. Okay, well, this guy is being a douche. Stop. You know what? I've I've been at this asshole with my de with a deprived character, and like it's like three hits, and then they're dead. This is intolerable. What the fuck? I guess they're all just like absorbent, ultra absorbent to um, uh, fucking uh, magic. I mean, I don't really mind just all the regular soul arrows. That seems like it's just awful. Yeah. I'm not... Yeah, fuck you. I'm not doing you. Nope. I'm out. I'm done. Stay back there. I don't even need your upgrade materials right now anyway, so fuck off. Oh, shit. Ah! Get out of here, dude! I'm trying to let you live. I'm not trying to unleash the butt stuff on you right now. Woo! S audio is correct. That I'm screaming. I'm not doing you is uh, is definitely a phrasing issue uh, that I need to have looked at by a professional. Uh, somebody was asking, well, "Why is butt stuff wearing clothes?" Asked Doctor Von Boogie. That's a good question, Doctor Von Boogie. Uh, I am not. Uh, that is a, a wonderful thing to ask. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Yeah. Oh my butt stuff. Get out there. Do it. Uh, all right, so let's take care of these jerks real fast. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Uh, Postmodernism asks, how's the new season of Archer? Uh, I won't know. I haven't started watching it yet. Um, not for any real reason outside of just this week has been kind of fragmented and busy, and I haven't really had a chance to. Uh, I really just haven't had a chance to yet, so... Um, you know, I will probably eventually. I actually considered getting renting it on. Um, God damn it! I'm used to having a uh, either a better weapon or a giant or shield. Uh, butt stuff is really having right now. Oh, butt stuff! You're so dirty. So dirty, girl. You gotta roll around in the water and get clean. <clears throat> Oh no, butt stuff's got a got an arrow sticking right in the right in the boobs. That sucks. Nobody wants boob arrows. Have a soul arrow. Have some metal in your face. Uh oh. You guys are the worst. Oh, you got all the butt stuff now. Oh, ow. All right. <clears throat> Get over here. 
Yeah, who's on? Oh, shit. I shouldn't look at the chat and try to run at the same time. Uh, Yeti asks, does Dark Souls 3 have a code system to play with friends like Bloodborne does? Yes, is the answer to that question. Uh, it does have a network password thing, which is awesome because um, I've always felt like these games do a lot better when you have a way to um, to play with just the, oh, god damn it, with the friendos that you feel like. I'm going to just skip all that bullshit. This is all for naught. So it's not like I'm doing a full-on anything here. You know, here's a question that I haven't answered yet is, what is the... Uh, steady chant boosts the strength of sorcerers for a short period. Works well equipped in either hand. Okay. Oh shit. We start with the young dragon ring. Nice. All right. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Get this jerk. Give me that sword, you jerk. Arr! What? What do you got? What? What? Uh, stab it in the... Uh, butt stab. Butt stuff. Whoa! All right. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess, as in most of the Souls games, uh, this guy is, like, redonk easy if you just roll a um, page. I mean, yeah, I might get slapped around a little bit like an asshole. But, um, you know... Mages are, are fucking easy mode in Dark Souls. Or I guess they have been in previous ones. I don't know. I've never really like spent a lot of time with a mage in this one. Ow. Ow. And I I knew that as soon as I said that, uh, something like Insta-Death was going to befall me. All right. There we go. Coiled Soul. No bomber BCM. He doesn't even drop a, a soul, right? Like he just he all he's got is that um, is the uh, little sword that you need, a little bonfire sword. Which you know, we can take a look at that. Uh, oops. Let's see. If we go in here, the key item. Yeah, coiled sword. Short sword thrusted into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel. This sword is only bequeathed to chosen ash, as judged by Eudex. Eudex who awaits the arrival of the Ashes of Scabbard. Oh, there you go. Let's go on up over here. Oh yeah, Jax Axe is talking about the uh, the royal class in Demon Souls was considered easy mode. Uh, yeah, I think that the reason for that, I mean, I think there might have been, I think there might have been just a straight up mage in uh, Demon Souls, but the royal was like, like, Lots of armor and uh, had a ring that regenerated your magic power and just like all kinds of awesome stuff. Do you want to do something? You want to go off the edge? You want to just go? Bye bye. Oh, come on. Bye bye. Go. Damn it. All right. Fine. Just die. Okay. Um, let's see. I've gotten. I'm sorry. I keep looking at the. Um, <laughs> I keep looking at the chat and then getting a little turned around. Like I'm running and I'm trying to hurry, and then I look at the chat and then I look back at the screen and I'm like, "Where was I again?" And uh, yeah, like a big dumb dummy. Hey guys, what's up? Doing some, some hanging out, uh, being jerks. I know you're being jerks. See, I'm going to skip old uh, um, ass face over here, but I am going to pick up. There's a better shield up here that I can grab. And you can just blow. There we go. Stick with you. I, th I feel like uh, one of my biggest problems in this game was, was forgetting how to use a shield from playing Bloodborne so much. And uh, thinking I could just play the game all dodgy, dodgy faced, uh, which you can. I mean, there's plenty of people out there who are way better than I am who do that. Um, see, Ruskell's asks, with Dark Souls wrapping up, where will you get your next high from the Monster Hunter series or licking batteries? Well, I'm hoping, Ruskell's, that since, I mean, you know, Dark Souls is wrapping up, but that doesn't mean that, um, you know, I, I, I hope that Dark Souls is wrapping up so that uh, Miyazaki can go make something else. 
Like, I'll keep an eye on whatever he makes. Like, for me, I follow developers more than I follow, like, titles or game companies. So I'm really in it for, like, Miyazaki and Hideo Kojima. You know, them, them dudes is my jam. Um, so I'll just keep an eye out for whatever they're, uh, whatever they're planning on doing next. Uh, well, you're not alone. We unkindled our Oh, uh, yeah, you big crestfallen dick. All right, let's go ahead and put this in. Rawr, shove your sword in. Light that bonfire, girl. Kind of weird and stupid. All right, let's see what um, East West Shield is definitely better. Oh. <laughs> I don't even have the attributes to use the East West Shield. Okay, cool. I think I'm going to put my robe back on, but I'm going to take, uh, take my helmet off so you guys can see my sick ponytails. Uh, Bob BCM asked, Jeff, if your parents were trapped in the Dark Souls universe, do you think you could guide them through it successfully? Probably not. Oh, man, look at that. Look at the, the enkindled on the uh, robe. That is hot. H-A-W-T, hot. Uh, Nick Primer asked, what I think about Warren Spector coming back to do System Shock 3. Um, I think uh, that Warren Spector is a... Um, uh, oops. Uh, is a developer that I'm not a I wasn't a big fan of the way that all the Epic Mickey shit went down so I think that I'm going to kind of wait and see how it goes with him um, before you know really just signing all the way back on board um, so let's see do I have a oops excellence I like the Farron Dart that's pretty cool I'm going to go with Farron Dart Heavy Soul Arrow and let's go to the high wall <coughs> Alex asks, would you play an anime-style JRPG if it had some similar gameplay to Dark Souls? Sure, Alex. I, my biggest problem with the anime-style games a lot of times is the fact that I feel like their mechanics are a little meh. meh. Ruskell's asked, if you're enkindled all the time, aren't you technically immune to all fire damage? I think it's the same thing. I don't know if it's the exact same thing. Illegal Sweets says that he likes some Sam Lake slash Remedy games. Um, me too. I just, they take so long to come out. Um, I mean, and I haven't played Alan Wake because it was, you know, 360, and I didn't have a 360 for so long. Uh, all right. Get ready, world. The butt stuff is here. All right, so we'll have to see if, um, uh, being a, a magey mage is in any way, shape, or form useful over here on the high wall of Lothric. Ace Card asks if I wish that the Dark Souls games were on good old games. Um, no. Or I hadn't really, like, it didn't really, uh, hasn't really occurred to me why. Um, or, like, what benefit that would be. Oh, you jerk. Now, you guys, I, I've been oops, been practicing this opening area, so uh, I'll probably be able to get through it with relative ease. But after that, I can't make any promises. Pew! Soul dart! 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 Get him with the dart! Ah, damn it. I swear to you guys, like, in all of the games, in all of every, uh, the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, there's no enemy that gives me more trouble than the fucking dog, man. Okay, I do not like Soul Dart. <laughs> Maybe if I had a slightly higher magic, but not now. What would a Miyazaki wrestling game be like? That's an interesting question. It uh, takes a lot of practice. It's tough, but it's fair. Oops, shit. Let me go back to a regular old soul arrow. All right, dude. One of these guys is going to start freaking out. Yep, there he goes. Ha ha, you dick. You get to change into a giant jack face, stupid, you dumb monster dick. You can get your monster dick and you put it somewhere else. Okay. 
I mean, I think um, if you want... Um, uh, one fun run asks about the weapon art with the magic staff. Looks like it just boosts your um, boosts your your spell potency for a short amount of time. Um, I really use something that actually casts a little bit faster. There's a ring in here that lets you cast faster, but I think I'm gonna switch back over from Soul Dart to uh, what's okay. There's Soul Arrow. Oh, did, am I not high enough level for whatever that other thing is? Fuck all that up already. Oh, okay, it was just, I have two soul arrows now. Ah, bah. All right, so let's try just getting our regular old soul arrow on. I think that as soon as we hit that uh, goddamn knight, I'm going to have some serious problems. <laughs> Ruskles asks if I'm sure I'm not drinking right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you know, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, fucking caffeination in me, but, you know, other than that... Urgh. You should see, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at. I mean, you know, some people would make the argument of you're just really bad at the Souls games, but um, I've tried. You know, I've come over in the bar a few times and been like, I want to play the Souls games, and then invariably I will, I will piss myself off with the amount of like being terrible at playing Drunk Souls uh, uh, after not that long, but at all. Look it up, butt stuff. Them fire bombs, you're gonna need them. Maybe. Oh, well, Alex, I don't know. I'm, 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 you know, doing a stream right now, so I don't, can't really pay super close attention to the chat. Um, you know, I, I like to hear everybody's idea for a video game, but it's just not, maybe not right this second. Fuck you guys. Fuck the dragon. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. That's right, burn. Hollows. Ha ha ha! But stuff is too fast for your dragons. Final Fantasy King asks how my dog is doing. He's doing just fine. He's just, uh, you know, being a dog, doing stuff, doing dog stuff. I always give him shit for doing so much dog stuff. All right. <laughs> Bomber BCM says, um,. If I can do a drunk history episode for Dark Souls history, I actually really wanted to do something that was kind of in the vein of that, of the, uh, you know, I, people have mixed feelings about Max Landis, but I really like this wrestling isn't wrestling and uh, uh, death and return of Superman videos. Okay, you jerk. I know what you really are. Look at that chain, you guys. You know what that chain means, right? Also, you can see it breathing. You jerk. You try to mimic me. Oh, ooh -ha. Don't you try to kick me, dumb mimic. Yeah, uh -huh. that's heavy soul arrow, too. Oh, ow, damn. Yeah, crap. Uh. Crap. Um, I did see the Eli Roth Dark Souls animated short. Uh, I thought it was really strange, Boss Captain Ross. <laughs> All right, so that's what I get for screwing around with the mimics. Oh, quick kick! It's um, it's mostly just the fact that I'm I'm rolling a little bit faster than I maybe oughta in this area. Hey, dude, that's my head. All right. Uh, oh. Let's go back up here. Oh, shit. It's already here. It's gonna get me. It's gonna get me with the fire. No fires. Oh, no fires. Ah. Okay. Maybe I'll try just regular old soul arrow this time. I'm so used to playing this with a melee focused carrier, a character, which I know sounds like a giant uh, uh, ding dong excuse, but you know, hey, that's what it feels like. Oh shit! God damn it! Also, mimics can be a real pain in the balls. I mean, you know. Whoop! Oh! Oh, wow! Woo! That was close. Oh, you know what I should probably do? Um, since I have a goddamn range character, is get some goddamn range and maybe uh, uh, go to an area where that mimic can't go to and then just fucking snipe him from up here. How about that? How about that? How about use your noodle for once? Jeff. Hey, Mimic, 
Mimic. Mimic. You fuck. Get out here. Take your take your magical medicine like a man, you mimic. Where'd you go? Get out here. Get out. Would you please just quit being a fucking douche hole? Really? You gonna make me come down there? Don't make me come down there. I'll do it. I'll fucking come down there all day long. What? Come on, come up the stairs. Give me a little firing solution on you. Ah. Jeez. One hit. Damn it! <laughs> the mimic is smarter than me. Okay, I think that's it. I think I'm um I think I'm uh uh gonna, I think I'm done dicking with that mimic. <laughs> He's fucking massacred me twice now. I think we just go ahead and, uh, you know, it actually occurs to me. It occur damn it. My, this. Okay, you know what? Just unplug it. Just unplug it. Uh, it occurs to me that the reason that I'm trying to kill that mimic is to get a very specific weapon and that I don't even need that weapon because I'm a mage and the mage can't even use that weapon. So I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know what, mimic? You be, you do you. Uh, I'll come back later, and we'll have a, a fight when I have more, um, more power. When I'm a, a much more powerful mage. Alright, well, god damn it. Oh, shit. Well, here's me running around and getting my ass handed to me. You know, I really don't understand is up in the upper levels, the uh, fire from the dragon leaves like fire on the floor. Uh, go over here. And I, I, I guess the people in the chat seem to want me to try it one more time. I'll give it one more try. I'll give it one more try, and we'll see uh, if the if the mimic done uh, kills me. Then um, you know that'll that'll be the end of it. We'll just we'll have to give this one to Team Mimic. Let's see what we got here. No. There we go. Man, that wind up. I played um, Dark Souls 1, a friend of mine, when the DLC was coming out. I kind of asked him, the guy that kind of got me into the franchise, I asked him to... to Put me together a, ooh, shit. Um, a, god damn, I'm, okay, my dodging is terrible. Um, that's it. <laughs> and he he put me together a mage character that I used for a while. Um, yeah, I guess I could. I just the thing is that he's got a weapon that I I'm not going to be in any position to use. But you know what? Okay, fine. We, we'll uh, we'll. We'll we'll just go the we'll take the easy way the easy way out throw some fire bombs and um, and be done with him because I feel like it's now become a matter of principle. <laughs> uh, no, almost certainly the dragon's gonna start breathing fire down here. Let's go here. <sighs> I feel it's bad. It's bad, you guys. God damn it. Every goddamn time that I go to play like Bloodborne or Dark Souls, it doesn't matter how much I practice, I was like a total fucking jerk face on uh, on a stream or on TV or in a video or whatever. Uh, all right, so let's use one of these to get him out of his shell. Any tips on the Orphan of Koss, asks Illegal Swede. Um... Yeah, practice. <laughs> like, uh, the only way that I was able to beat that motherfucker was um, by just really getting used to his patterns. Uh, also, bringing uh, some um, bringing some help. Never, never a bad idea. Remember that for every freaking Souls game. Uh, oh, shit. That kick, man. You and that kick. That roundhouse, man. Oh, 
Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Well, now I've almost run out of fire bombs. Okay. I feel like I'm fighting the goddamn Capra demon at this point. Oh, shit. Don't roll towards him. Roll away. Nope. Ooh. That, that flying, spinning bird kick that he's doing really just jerking my crap. Nope. 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 Oh. Whoa. Oh no 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 I see you right behind me you mimic fuck one more one more Oh there we go Alright so great now I get the deep battle axe that I'm fully unable to wield right yeah because it takes twelve strength and I've got all of seven <sighs> but if you're following along at home, that is a it's a it's a banging weapon for uh, a lot of this area. In fact, the next two areas it really is great. Um, do, let's see, do, slaughter RJ has to all the solo games keep a story thread. I mean, if you're asking a cons like a consistent thread through all of them, um, sort of. It's kind of like I feel like Miyazaki is more interested in kind of like refining the same story over and over again. Right. But stuff. And this guy, the there are knights in this game. There are a bunch of different sorts of knights wandering around Lothric. They suck, man. They're hard, but they're difficult to get any real traction on. Um, and yeah, I have some I have some issues. Some issues with the fucking knights of Lothric. Alright, bonfire number two. Is there a name, Boss Captain Ross asks, is there a name for the fear you get when you run into an enemy in a video game and you can't tell how close it is? Like, you can't tell if it's, like, big but far away? Get out of here, knight. I'm not ready to mess with you just yet. You I will mess with. You are, are thoroughly messable. I really just want some other, other gear besides this garbage. Okay, so, and I also realized that I should have um, allocated at least one more uh, Ashen Estus Flask before I left the uh, confines of, oh, no, no, damn it. Ah, you fucking garbage dick. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to go over the, this way. <coughs> uh, one fun asked if I've tried sniping the dragon's tail to see if it gives me a weapon. No, there is an area later where I, I've just full on, um, like, dark d demon souls um, this dragon with, like, a, like 125 arrows or something just from a distance to get rid of it because it's having trouble getting through the level. And I was just like, fuck you, dragon. This is just sitting up in a place doing a thing. Come on, dude. You know, I was trying to be nice. Was trying to be nice. Uh, what is a good way to beat uh, Amygdala SS Audio? I didn't find Amygdala to be all that difficult. I mean, not like, you know, I'm not trying to be like, please, just get good, you dumb noob. Uh, but I didn't find uh, Amygdala to be, I mean, you know, you just want to kind of stick to, stick to the, stick to the legs and, oh, now you, are, are, I can just stand up here and throw shade at you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a matter of getting the timing down. Like, I feel like that's the secret to every boss in all of every Souls game oops, is just, um, you know, you have to get to a point where you're not scared of them anymore, and you're, it, you're more about, like, um, just focusing on their weaknesses and their patterns and waiting for them to make a mistake and then, you know, fucking them up. Um, that's really the best way to do all of the Souls games. Um, like, 
somebody was asking about the Orphan of Kos earlier, and I feel like the thing with the Orphan of Kos in Bloodborne is that it's so, like, that enemy is so fast and so nimble and just, like, very intimidating early on, hits real hard that, um, you know, oh, god damn it. How the that your first, um, your first encounters with them, with that enemy, are going to be, you're going to spend a lot of time just kind of like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit trying to get away from them, but that the real secret to beating them is not necessarily, like, having any particular weapon or any, like, you know, particular skill or anything. It's more about, like, just not being intimidated and knowing how to, like, look at the enemy uh, and uh, see what their pattern is and react to it. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot more people than I, than I who have the first time that they played through the Souls games, they had a hell of a lot of success, but I usually have to play just about every boss a bunch of times. Um, and either get used to their pattern or learn that, like, I'm going to have to go find a different weapon or a different tactic. Um, there was a boss in this game that I was having a lot of trouble with that I ended up just having to um, just straight up go magic on. Um, like, I had a melee character, but for this one boss, they were such a pain in the ass that I had to just get the best pyromancy that I could and then put on a bunch of rings that boosted my pyromancy until I was able to get some hits in. So. Uh, Slaughter RJ07 asks, how do I get mana? Um, you have a separate flask, the Ashen Estus flask, that you actually use to get mana back. Uh, there's some rings later on, I think, that you can use that'll maybe give you some in one way or the other, but... Boss Captain Ross, we're at the very, very beginning of the game. So this is further than uh, John and I got uh, in our... Oh, Jesus, this is not what I needed right now. <sighs> boy. Oh, boy. All right. <coughs> nope. Enough of that horse shit. These guys are a little bit easier than the... Um, uh, sword guys. It's a little bit easier to get a backstab on them. I mean, you know, not super easy or anything, but... Damn it! Ah, fuck. fuck. No, get... Ah! Shit. Get back and... Uh, ah! That little backwards hit, man. I swear. Oh, jeez. Um, Final Fantasy King 9 asks, what is New Game Plus like in the Souls games if there is one? There is. There's New Game Plus and New Game Plus 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 and New Game Plus 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 and New Game Plus 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 Plus. plus. Um, they're difficult. They're more difficult. Uh, when you start New Game Plus, you know, you, everything carries over, but you're, um, uh, it is even harder than it was previously. So... Um, I don't generally do New Game Plus all that much um, because I find that I would rather just make a new character, like kind of try the game out in a different way. Ah, all right. I, man, I need to just... I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to not be here. I'm out of flasks. I'm out of everything. Uh, let's go back and buy some shit. Illegal Sweet asks, who's your Overwatch waifu? I don't, I haven't played Overwatch yet. Uh, Quick Kick says that in Dark Souls 2, uh, if you were, uh, remember you were worried in Dark Souls 2 that the humanity preserving rings would break the difficulty of the game. Is that system in this one too? No, uh, as you can see, I mean, I've already died a bunch of times, and butt stuff is still like full on human. Um, you're basically, it's kind of like they made a change to where uh, instead of doing human, not human, what they're doing is um, uh, either unkindled, which is what I am right now, or kindled. Um, so, let's see what I want to do here. Um, and the way that it works is when you beat a boss, you get kindled, you get extra health. I think you get some extra... Let's see if the uh, the item description might tell me. On the um, uh, embers. Yeah, there we go. 
Gain the strength of the flame and increase max HP until death. With the strength of fire, the summoning signs of unkindled become visible. Seekers of the embers can be summoned, but beware, embers may also attract uh, invaders. So you get some extra health, and you can summon people. Um, let's see, why don't we do some leveling up here? Welcome to the bonfire of fire <laughs> I tend to the flame. The lords have let at this end. Yeah, I'm Ruskles. <laughs> Somebody said in the comments, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put this guy on lockdown. It's actually kind of a compliment, right? That uh, there's a guy in the comments for the show who was just like, Jeff, you got your Oculus for free. And I was like, oh, man, I wish I got my Oculus for free. Like, I wish I got a free Oculus Rift. I mean, it turns out that some of the DK2 stuff works on, or some, uh, some of the retail stuff works on the DK2. Um, but... I didn't get one. I didn't get a retail kit for free. No. Uh, Dr. Bumbo, says, Dark Souls 3 an open world game like past games, or is it more like Demon Souls in its design? Uh, it is an open world game. Uh, it does... Um, it, it does have, you know, your fair amount of, like, wandering from place to place. It's not quite as, like, open as near as I can tell than uh, regular Dark Souls. Like, there's some weird shortcuts that you can take. Um, and there are a few places like where you can go this way or you can go that way, but I don't feel like it's like I, I've never played a game since the original Dark Souls where you could do like that thing I did in my first Super Awesome Video Game Show video, and uh, you could run backwards through the world and just get all the shit that you wanted. I haven't played a game that was able that where you could do that. Uh, another Souls game where you could do that uh, since the very first one or since uh, Dark Souls. I mean, you couldn't even do that in Demon Souls because of the spoke design. Um, but, yeah. He's talking about Overwatch in there. Man, I kind of want to, I want to play Overwatch. Jack's Axe asks, how's level variety compared to other Souls games? I've only seen this castle area so far. Um, you get to see more than that. I mean, we're going to be going to a different area. Dude, you could just piss the shit off with that nonsense. <sighs> um... Uh, there's a fair amount of, of different um, of variety in the different levels. You know, there's um, there's a lot more like foresty stuff than I think in the other games. God damn, I hate having this few number of Estus Plasks. Can, can I just pop you a little bit with this? Just a little bit. Pop, pop. No. Pop. No. Okay, fine. How about a little backstab? A little stabby stab. I'm a little, little two-handed. Ow. Dude, just smack me in the face with a shield, why don't you? Here, have one of these. No. Nope. Shield's too good for that, huh? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. God, I hate those motherfuckers. Dark Souls 3 or Dive Kick? Oh, please. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Jack's Axe, I feel like it's a little bit less than, I mean, I have to kind of like mentally uh, count all the different areas. I feel like it's about on par with the normal Souls game. Maybe a little bit closer to Bloodborne in the fact that like there's kind of a bunch of different castles that all look kind of similar. Um, but they do have their own, you know, they all have their own kind of flavor. I don't know, again, I'm still like just kind of letting the game like wash over me. I'm still kind of trying to get my my bearings as far as uh, how I feel about this game. Um, like I got some thoughts about the ending that I really am not going to go into because the fucking ending of the game. But uh, God damn it, I am the worst sorcerer. Really? Yep. Yep. Really the worst. Mother fuck. Legal Season says, Jeff, without spoiling the game, how did you feel when you went to that one place? Yeesh. I don't, I don't know which place. I don't know. Does Dark Souls 3 classify as Smexy? I don't know what Smexy is. Is that what something smells sexy? Woohoo! Uh, Harpua626, that's why she's named Buttstuff. 
Uh, butt stuff is a lady, first and foremost. Did you run into many bugs in Eris, SD Hood? I ran into some problems. Um, a, f a few, you know. Oh, smart and sexy. That's what smexy means. That's a, so I am old man. Don't know anything about anything. All right. Hey, President Evil. I was just telling Sarah about that joke from when we played uh, Resident Evil 6 last week. Get some. Oh, finally. Jeez, that was way better than the last time. Lothric Knight Leggings. All right. This has space. Just hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I'm a, I'm a hider, Hollow. Oh, damn. That's kind of pretty. Slashing it up. Okay. Uh, President Evil asks, Hi, Jeff. What's your favorite uh, area in Dark Souls 1? That's a good question. Um, I really like Anne Orlando. I really, really like Anne Orlando. Um, Ace of Card asks about the Berserk references, which I know that previous Souls games have had a ton of. Um, I'm not familiar enough with Berserk to really know, so um, uh, it's possible there could have been a bunch. Cheese, cheese whiz on crackers. Hey, fine, fine, fine. You're better than me, all right? You guys do you. I'm going to go outside. I'll leave you alone. No? You and your big old axe. This is my big axe. Nope, 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 nope. Run, jump, kick, punch. Hamburgers and french fries. Uh. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> do you love Black Iron Tarkus for what he did in Dark Souls 1? Sure I do. Black Iron Tarkus is the best. He's the best. Well, he's not the best. Solaire is my that's that's my boy, you know. Solaire or Oscar, those are my those are my bros. Um Final Fantasy King asked if I'm gonna mod Dark Souls 3 when it comes out on Steam. I don't think so. I mean I don't know. I Generally speaking these days, I have a lot less time for, um, uh, well, I just, my PC is so used for rendering that I just rarely use it for actual gaming these days. Like, I really want to play more Hyper Light Drifter. That game is, oof, it's the Dark Souls of Zelda games. It's the Dark Souls of Metal Gear. Okay. Well, Dr. Von Boogie, what can I say, man? I'm, I'm bad at mage. I'm bad at, at magic. I'm just not very familiar with uh, the best ways to make magic a thing. I, mean, I should probably be just cheesing it, but I played through the entire game. I mean, I usually play as like a combination of melee and uh, um, maybe a little light magic here and there, but me mo mostly melee. I know, I know, I know, Fushrado. I need to, I need to get good. I'm, I'm, I'm being real, real bad at Dark Souls these these days, which I kind of knew was going to happen. Uh, horrible shit. What do you have for me now. God damn it! And I'm out of magic. Okay. Well, run, butt stuff. Run. Use your last Ashen Estus Flask. Fucking dogs, man. Dogs. Ugh. One more. Here we go. Boom. Oh, boy. I knew this room was going to be a problem. All right. Got my shard. Got my key. Out of all flasks. And... Did I change that? Okay, good. I'm probably going to need to jump back to the shrine. Uh, Yeti13 asks, what's the word on Lightning Spear? Is it great or has it been uh, is it still nerfed? Um, I don't know. Um, I started a cleric build, but 
Um, haven't gotten... I mean, I kind of just mainline, like, start to end Dark Souls 3, and then once I was done with it, I kind of... Um, uh, I kind of had to get on with a few other things in my lifetime, and then I'm going to go back and... Um, you know, I'll go back as time goes on and play more of it with different character builds to see how they feel in comparison to the ones that I've already played. Um, but... Um, I just had, I actually, I just got a cleric and I got to the area where the lightning spear is. I just didn't actually uh, use it on anything. D Hood asks, do you have the same issues with taking out these dogs like you do with dogs normally? I don't necessarily, like, I don't enjoy killing the dogs in uh, various video games, but uh, more of my co hosts, my co hosts tend to have more of an issue with uh, the dog. The taking out of dogs. This is me, especially Brian Salisbury. But you know, he's just he's he's such a dog lover that he just he doesn't like it in anything. God damn it. Okay, fine. All right, let's go back to the uh, old shrine bonfire. Shrine bonfire. Mm. Why is Dark Souls two rated T for teen? Ass Ace of Card. I don't know. It seems like it would be. A, a rated T for teen kind of thing. Um, that's what I would assume. Jax asks, how's the loot system? Do you have common and rare items? No. It all seems to be kind of just the same. Um, hey, Metal Virgin. How's WrestleMania? Ah, well, Matt, just what me. Go ahead and uh, reinforce the old Estus. And. Pretty be careful. That's about it. Let's go get um, Gray Rat. Go go rescue Gray Rat and then take out the boss, and then we'll be done with this opening area. Uh, let's see. Castlemania. Boss Captain Ross asks, is there an animal you don't feel, oop, what does it say? You don't feel gets used uh, in video games enough. Yes. The common weasel needs his day, or her day, or their day. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Yeti13 asks, wouldn't Andre's arms be the size of the columns if he'd been hammering for all those years? He does never seem to stop. He's just bang, 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 bang. Uh, so, yeah, he should probably be a little bit more buff than he actually is. All right, let's get down here and... I haven't grabbed this firebomb yet. Use that key that we picked up. I think it's down here. Or is this where the uh, shortcut is? I think this is where it is. You need to quit throwing stuff, you jerk thief. Okay, I really need... I mean, like, it doesn't need to be a 100% damage reduction shield, but, like, it should be, like, you know... Some amount of damage resistance. I don't know what the fuck this shield is even good for. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, this guy's a total ass face. Throwing firebombs in a room full of uh, fiery blow-up barrels. Hey, bud. Oh, the butt stuff. You got butt stuffed. Gross. 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 Resident Evil says, so Dark Souls 3 takes place way in the future as composed compared to Dark Souls 1. Uh, yes. As near as I can tell, it seems to take place way after both Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? <laughs> no, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Would you call me? Remarkable. If that's true... Oh, this guy. Then I have a favor to ask. Mm. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Mm. Not the home of any lord. Just a, a very old settlement of undead. 
An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please. <gasps> Who lives there? Give her this ring. What's her name? Loretta. I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What? What do you say then? Huh? Sure, I'll Very do well. it. I humbly place my faith in you. I'll go find your Lady Loretta. Of the undead settlement. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. <laughs> do your part and I'll do mine. This guy seems, he seems like, you know, sketchy enough to be, uh, to be dating, dating our, uh, our old friend Loretta. Uh, oh shit. Okay, um, I, god damn it, I was gonna go buy some homeward bones before I went that much further in here, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast. Yeah, the testosterone ring. Quick kick. No, it's the blue tear stone ring. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right, so let's go get ourselves some, uh... Homeward bones, and then we can kind of. At this point, I believe we're pretty good to just go hit up the uh, boss. Really? Just, just get up here or don't get up here. Fight me or don't fight me. Take a stand. Uh, uh, Doctor Von Boogie is asking about patches. Uh, yeah, this is a Souls game, so there's a patches. I'm not going to answer your other question though. That uh, that would be that would be cheating, spoiling, spoil cheats. Okay. So we've got a quick thing. Let's see. Got a quick uh, errand to run here. And then I think I'm going to skip a bunch of the knights so we can get down into the into the next area because there's a thing I want to do down there real, real bad. It's a, a, a bro down there. <laughs> yeah. It's not Loretta. Loretta's been the, the big... She was the, the mastermind behind all of this fire and the age of darkness the entire time. It was just her sitting there and, yep. I can't do it as well as Jason can. It's just uh, uh, Billy Bob Thornton. All right. Yeah, yeah, you want souls. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it's we could show off real fast here. Um, when you rescue or when you talk to Grey Rat, he comes here and he becomes a vendor that you can talk to. Whatever trinket just don't. Um, and actually, you get a whole bunch of people who come to the Firelink Shrine to be vendors for you that'll sell stuff. Um, and they all interact in different ways. Like sometimes they leave or they come back or they'll be fighting or things like that. So um, it's kind of cool in that way. All right, so let's go to the tower. Yes. We're going to take the quote fingers shortcut this time, which basically just involves running past everybody. I don't know, Patches. Or I don't, I don't know, President Evil. Patches is... Yeah, oh, boy, that guy's a fuck. He's a, he's a real fucking fuck. The fact that he was a spider in the last game in Bloodborne was like, okay... This is a patches that I can agree with. Epic Gamer 3 asks, uh, Mountain Dew or Coke? I don't really drink uh, soda. I drink coffee most of the time. So, uh, Final Fantasy King 9 asks, is the Firelink Shrine the only place to shop? Yes, but as you saw, there are multiple uh, shopkeepers, vendors in there. So, um, yeah, there, there, it's not, there isn't really that. But that is your hub. Like they've, they've kind of gone back to the whole like hub world thing. I feel like in Dark Souls 1, the Firelink Shrine wasn't even as much as a hub as it is here. Um. <laughs> Fushirito. <laughs> oh. Truck with that. Patches. Uh, he's a... I mean, and it's funny because in Dark Souls 2, he was a little bit less, like, overtly evil. Uh, like, he seemed like he could almost be kind of like, okay not a great guy, but not like the world's, not history's greatest monster by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but then there was like this weird subplot where like he gives you all his clothes 
and there's a, a kind of a weird speculation that it's like, well, he did that so that the guy that's trying to kill Patches will think that you're Patches and try to kill you instead. Look, fucker. I knew you were back there, but I was just trying to be nice and give you every opportunity to, like, fucking get that shit out of my places, people, and things. Now, oh boy, I don't know if... I don't know... Jerks. Uh, Jack Sax asks, how's the weapon upgrade? It's more streamlined, more flexible. Haven't played a Souls game since Dark Souls 1. Uh, it's a lot like what it reminds me of is that they like they took the Dark Souls. Let's see, okay, I'm going to see if these assholes will follow me in here. Um, they took the Dark Souls. Oh, Jesus, I hate these guys. Fuck off. Just fuck off. Uh, they took the Dark Souls 2 upgrade kind of ways and um, then streamlined them, like made them a little bit less confusing, where basically all weapons are upgraded with Titanite shards. Okay. All weapons are upgraded with Titanite shards up to plus 10, and then you can infuse weapons with different things, but there's stuff um, that, there's stuff that uh, you could do, like I had a long sword, and there was a type of enhancement called heavy that would let you up the like strength scaling for anything. <sighs> so. The wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Uh, Atomic Destruction, they I don't show up until later. Frankly, you will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their what journey my, homes. What's my character doing? At the base of this castle. Is he, like, not on the steps Head properly? The Kegels? The Is that what's going on here? John, through the great gate, <laughs> what stuff are you doing, your Kegels? To proceed. <laughs> Okay. Weird. This farewell gift is it is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers. I don't, but then, and the old concord will beckon. Yeah. So the way that the covenant system here works is it's actually just this slot right here. Um like you just equip whatever item is the like co the covenant kind of like sigil there. And then you're in that covenant. So, one fun run. I know what happens when you attack her. Okay, uh, I know what happens when you kill her, and I know what uh, comes from right up in this little thing in this room. So, no, I ain't doing that shit. Fuck that. I'm not skipping the first like two thirds of the game, uh, or third, one third of the game, or some thirds. I don't. I don't know what third it is. Um, that's uh, yeah. So. <laughs> you try to trick me one fun run or should i call you patches the twitch chat hyena that's you isn't it patches you've killed one fun run and you've taken over his twitch chat account in order to try to trick me into jumping off of ledges you jerk uh, okay Do you want to see a small DLC where a portion of a kingdom in a Dark Souls game was at its height? Everything's so shiny and new. Yeah, actually, I like the, I like the that. I like um, a lot of the. I mean, you know, the Artorias of the Abyss DLC showed kind of, sort of the world in an earlier state. <laughs> Fur! Look at me! I'm Arboreal! Or Boreal. I'm Boreal! All right. Dr. Von Boogie, you be nice, all right? Don't be mean. I could get him on the first try. Who knows? Or I could have to fight him six billion times. See, normally the way that this game works is that I'll be like, oh, my God, this guy is really hard, you guys. I'm going to die to him like four times. And then, like, that's the boss where I just, you know, it's not a problem. It's no big deal. I just, you know, do my thing. And then it'll be like, then I go into a room that has two dogs in it. And I'm going to spend 45 minutes in the room with two dogs because fucking ouch. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, jeez. He used to just hit this guy with a sword. That really made my job harder today. Yeah, roar! I am Batman! Shit. Yep. Yeah. There we go. 
oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I remember what he does there. Okay, cool. There's one. <laughs> Fucking mages, man. Fucking mages. Oh, Jack Sax, I think we already have a death count. I think I'm already at like 60 or 70 or something like that. Okay. He did. I forgot about his little, like, I get mad and then I go back and forth. I uh, I rush the stage back and forth. You know, that, that, whole, that whole meme, that whole nonsense. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fucking being a mage, man. That uh, uh, that big dark axe that I was that I bypassed in the beginning. The thing was really um, who died and why? Oh, did somebody jump? Um, that thing hits almost as hard as Soul Arrow as the Soul Arrow. Uh, seems to be, except that you can just swing it a whole bunch of times. You don't have to, like, wind it up and then uh, attack with it. Boo, 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 boo. This boss is a little irritating as about the, the distance you have to go to get back. Oh, well. Okay. died if I had to pop that flask. Wrong flask at the wrong time. bad here, folks. Oops. Okay. Ah, there it is. Motherfucker. All right, let's try that again. Sorry, I should keep talking about stuff. <laughs> Just mm, irritating, irritating, irritating for me to get killed by that jerk. I've been practicing running through this area as specifically a deprived, and uh, maybe I could put on some armor. I mean, you know, uh, that's what I ended up having to do when I pl play my mage in Dark Souls 2 was when I got to a certain part of the DLC. It's like I just had to go, I had to go get some armor. Um, like that just had to be the way that I, that I rolled. Um, ah! But stuff's got a arrow in her uh, pigtails. So there you go. Okay. Do you wish there was a charisma stat that would let you talk your way out of fights? Asked Bomber. Oh, shit. Um, 
Nah. I like the fights. Like I said, it's just mostly the fact that I've never... I, I don't, you know, I just don't play mage very much. It's not my not my, my shtick in the Souls game. I like to have a big old sword. I mean, you know, in my first playthrough of DS3, I, I beat the final boss with... Damn it! A fucking long sword. Okay! Okay. Right. That's what I get. Ah. Ma. That was bad. I mean, that was bad by by my standards. Like uh by 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 bad people Dark Souls standards. Like I didn't even get like a, a fucking hit in on, on him. Um I guess maybe I'm just not as used to... You know, it's funny. When I was playing Dark Souls 1 as a mage... I, think, uh, I don't know. You can't, re can't respec until way later. Um, uh, you know, it was like my friend built this real... It was, real, it was like a really good like mid-level. It was like level 60 or 70 uh, build where it was like... Moonlight great sword and all of these crystal spells and like a light armor, like a nice light armor that was fairly protective and a pretty decent shield, like grass crest shield. Um, boy, it was great. It was such just like a versatile build. Um, but here, boy, howdy. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The heavy soul arrow. Oh shit. Damn it. I swear on the life of my uh nothing. Nothing. I don't even know where I was going with that. Come on, fuckface. Come on, I understand what we're doing now. I gotta wait for you to go before I go. Because if I start, then you will immediately... On the okay. All right. No, no, we're going. We're good. We're good. We're getting it. We're getting this. We're getting this. We got it. It's going. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I got it. Let's, let's figure it out. Got to get this. Got to get this. Putting the heavy soul arrow in his anus. That's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Guys, and your death count. You make me sad. <laughs> Remember in Dark Souls 2, uh, when we were playing Dark Souls 2 uh, for our sequential, um, that uh, everybody was keeping track in the comments of how many times I died over the course of that game. I was like, aw. That's fine, Bomber BCM. We'll, we'll figure it out. You know. I was hoping to get to uh, Farron Sentinels today, but, you know, it's fine. We spend the entire three hours on fucking Vort. I mean, you know, when I was playing Bloodborne for the first time, I spent the entire, you know, like, a good uh, half of the stream on just Father Gascoin. Okay. I think I, I think I, I think I'm going to better handle on this guy, though. I think I can understand kind of where he's coming from. I think I understand. I got it. I'm 
just too too aggressive. Got to be a little bit more reactionary. Gotta wait for him to do a thing, and then I do a thing. Back. Get under his butt. Soul arrow in his butt. And butt arrow. Way while he does this bullshit. Got one more. He's gonna do his thing. A couple free hits in on one there. One, two. Let's go ahead and throw some ash up. He's gonna do his thing again. One. Oh shit. Two. What we got. Ooh, ouchie. Okay. Do your thing again. You do it. Come on, do it. All right, well, maybe I can get no. Can I get in on over here? Nope. Fuck. Just a matter of getting his getting his fucking patterns down. <laughs> oh boy. So there you go. Mort of the Valley. Hey uh hey uh you think you got it. Oh you think you got it. Oh boy. And look, we can see the whole kingdom from here. See everywhere that we're gonna go. Look at these places. We got a. You see that right down there? That's a big swamp. Shocker, I know, right? Uh, got the big bridge. Let's see, we got all the different. There's a big cathedral back there. You can see like way off in the distance. There's some stuff. Let's see, there's some way over there. There's some stuff. There's another big building down there. It's like a warehouse. We're gonna go there. So here we go. <sighs> Man, I wish Hyrule looked like this, Ruskles. But I really love this. I really like doing this. This is such like a one of those little ha 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 like kind of squee moments. Where you're like, what? What is this? Ew. Oh hey, it's these guys. Rawr! Give me. Pick me up. Take me places. It's like the Uber of the Dark Souls world. Boss Captain Ross asks, is there an environment in video games that you hate? Yes, it is called swamps, especially poison swamps, which is why it pains me to my core that every single Souls game has to have a big old poison swamps. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. So let's get out there and see. Um, actually, you know what? We might be kind of at an interesting turning point here in just a second. Large soul. We got a little, little cash here. A little soul's cash. A little Johnny Cash. And we're going to get a uh, nifty vendor. Another another vendor like Grey Rat over here. So I'm going to let these guys. I find it interesting that, like, these guys are trying to get in over there. And then, like, they fucking unleash the hounds on them and shit. It's kind of harsh. Oh, yeah, you're right, Johnny. It didn't have a poison swamp. Demon Souls dead. Uh, Dark Souls 1 dead. Yeah, Dark Souls 2. Did it have, a, did it have a, any poison area? Like any area where you just... God damn it. Me and the dogs of Dark Souls, I swear. We got some serious... Always having the problems. Yeah, no poison swamp. What was, there, was there like a poison area? Was there like a poisonous area or something? It being some kind of garbage poison. The gutter. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Fucking 
gutter. No, oh yeah, I guess that the um, Please. Black Gulch was a little bit like that too. Undo my shackles. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. You good? Oh. oh, then it's true. The champion of Ash, as I live and breathe, to be in your presence is a great honor. I am somehow oh. I Oops. failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. He's like a Say, little giant. Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Sure, buddy. Come back to my place. Oh, I am we'll have a party. Dead, truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I... Yoel of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Boy, you don't even have to do that. You just go back and chill. We'll we'll have a party. We'll get some checks mix. Um, oh look, these guys are. I often wonder if this is the. I was looking at this the other day. I kind of wonder if this is the bridge from Dark Souls One where the um, Drake was. I don't know. It kind of looks like it. it. Looks like it might be a little changed up, but it's kind of it's very similar architecture. Um, it's like the idea that that bridge stood for so long and then a fucking just dragon like face planted into it and broke it. He broke the bridge, dragon. <laughs> Dr. Von Boogie says his name is YOLO of Londor. I like that. YOLO! He's not a very YOLO kind of guy, but... <sighs> um... Ah. Yeah, it's so weird how, like, I don't know, I'm not I'm still, you know, kind of trying to understand, like, the story here. Um, like, the way that, why, oh, God damn it. Get to fucking dogs. Get off me, dog. Here. Uh, have some. Get some. Have some. And then, ha yes, have some. Um, damn it. Fucking dog barks. There. How about that? How about all the hits? How about just a million sword hits in your face? Um, I don't remember what I was saying now. I think I was like mid-sentence, and then I got attacked by a dog, and suddenly all everything just rolled out of my brain. Um, anywho. Um, let's see. Can you open up? Wait, do I have to? Uh, did I have to run through here when it was open? And now that it's closed, I can't go through there? That's a pain in the nuts. Pain in the nutter butters. All right. I don't think that I. Oop, I don't think that uh, I actually saw that happen last time. I mean, I guess maybe the undead, uh, the undead settlement where we're going, like they just don't like, like regular hollows, or maybe those people are like too hollow for them, or maybe they're just like racist against hollows. I don't know. Is hollow a race or something? And they just don't want to let them in because you can see that they're down there, like kind of like praying, and they want to go through the door or whatever. And then the fucking guys on the other side are just like, oh, there was totally a fucking goddamn it. Yep, there's totally a thing right there. They open the doors and fucking unleash the Kraken on them and shit. You're a jerk, okay? You just let them through. Be nice. We've all been fine. What? Yeah. Because you suck. That's why, you jerk. Damn it, dogs. I really just need to get a, maybe, like, upgrade this sword a little bit or get something that's not this garbage sword. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump back to the Firelink Shrine. Uh, Yanful, John and Amanda are watching WWE WrestleMania. Uh, they are not here today. Um, they will be back next week. Um, yeah, so they are not. Uh, hey, it is 4.30, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a 15-minute break. I'll be back in... Uh, 15 minutes, and we'll get into the Undead Settlement. I think it's probably going to take up the entire rest of the stream today. Uh, so, yeah, stick around. Be back in 15, and we'll see you then. Welcome back, everybody, to Dark Souls 3 here. I'm Jeff. I'm by myself, in case you're just joining us. And uh, I've uh, I spent the break cashing in all of my um, all of my echo, or all of my uh, my blood echoes. So I could throw a bunch of points into vi uh, into strength, 
so that I can actually wield uh, some slightly more decent weapons uh, because I'm sick of getting just blasted. I'm sick of my face face getting blasted all over the place. So we're going to go ahead and uh, um, use some, some slightly better things than we had before. Um, and, you know, just a, a shield that works and a sword that isn't the worst of all time. So let's go ahead and jump back to... Um, the old undead settlement, and uh, yeah, get going. See what's going on. Am I aware? Johnny Star asks if I'm aware the magic scaling is currently garbage. No, because uh, I usually don't do magic my first time through. Um, so no, I'm not. Uh, but at this point, you know, we're halfway through the stream. I've only got about an hour left here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just we'll stick with it for the moment. You know, see if we can mix in a little bit of. Uh, melee and you know just see see how it goes boss captain ross my character is on fire because they are in in kindled or kindled or something like that whenever you beat a boss it's kind of like the uh it's kind of like when you turn human in dark souls um except here it just gives you some bonus health and it looks rad as shit and i actually really like the change because it means that my character that it's more like it's less of a um it's less of a horrible nightmare. It's less of a horrible night to have a, uh, a curse. Uh, to not be kindled, um, it's more of just like a benefit of using this thing and, uh, you know, uh, being kindled. So how long did it take me to beat S-Audio Ask? Probably around 20 or 30 hours, somewhere around there. 25 to 30 hours. Um, I mean, I kind of zipped through it. So, um, you know. It wasn't exactly the great, it wasn't, you know, I tried to do a lot. I know there was some stuff that I missed, but um, Illegal Swede asked, how do I become the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla? Um, that is, you have to get the, the hockey mask first, I believe, and then you need to get the guy on the chain uh, or uh, maybe maybe put, put him off the chain from time to time, uh, and that'll, that'll help out. Uh, also, a desert wasteland is usually a prerequisite to being the Ayatollah of rock and roller. Uh, I mean, you know, just from my own experience of, uh, of doing that. Okay. <laughs> Epic Gamer 3, sleep? What's that? I don't know. I don't know what sleep is. Sleep is something, it's just a distant memory for me. Something that I, I've heard of that. I've heard of that phenomena. You little thief. Get over here, you little thief. Oh, I don't. Oh, well, just whipped on that. Oh, or didn't. There was actually a patch today uh, for this the Xbox One version. Uh, don't remember what it was. I mean, I don't like it had any like, notes for anything, so I don't know if it was just general bug fixes or what. But uh, Okay. Come here, you jerk. You jerk. Oh, butt stuff in your butts. All right, so let's see. What direction do I want to go? Free the pyromancer. Get rid of this fuck face. I think I'm going to get rid of this fuck face first. And then we'll go get the, get the pyromancer trainer. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did you see what, you just, what we just got? Oh, no. Let's take a look. Where is it? Loretta's bone. An odd discolored bone. Human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse, the undead settlement, was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. Wait, so was it her bone? Or was it just that was her favorite bone? Um, her favorite bone of all time. Jack's Axe, in the, in the first part, we had that nice like little kegel exercise idle animation. Um, that was kind of nice as far as bugs go. Like I said, I, I think I've said it before that I've uh, there's been a couple times where an enemy has um, um, has ended up like in their default model position with like their arms out that weird like you know what you normally see what a model looks like and then it like glitches out and goes back down onto the ground. Um, that was a little bizarre, guys. I mean, it's a nice fire. Don't get me wrong, you tree that you've got on fire over here, but like. I am, you know, I'm right here. Pigtails and everything, so I'd appreciate a little bit more just, you know, look at me! 
Swear to me. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, so that's... I wasn't looking forward to... I was kind of wishing that she would just leave me the fuck alone for a little while. All right, guys. You. You and me. Heavy soul arrow. Oh, wow, that was fucking awful. Uh, uh, oh, come on. That was right in the butt. That was right in the butt stuff. Oh, jeez. Really, lady? Oh, damn. Right in the fucking face hole. Uh, uh shit. Illegal Swede asks, uh, uh, besides Dong of Justice, what other movies have you seen recently? Um, I watched Loretta again, but or Loretta, uh, Deadpool, fucking <laughs> brain. Um, yeah, I watched Deadpool again, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's funny because Illegal Swede, that, that character has a like a lady voice, it seems. Is that like a really high-pitched dude voice? Um, so I think those are actually like ladies. God damn it. Uh oh, going in the floor. He's going in the floor, guys. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, let's see if I can just skip a bunch of this shit. Get away from me, you dumb thieves! Gotta get my gotta get my souls back. Go back. Go. You don't want to fight me. You don't want to fight me. Uh, I mean, I watched uh, I watched episode seven. Uh, yeah, the new Star Wars movie. Um, the other night. I watched uh, actually not on in the theaters, but I watched that. Um, uh, uh, what was that movie about the pr uh, pedophile priests? Um, uh, uh, Spotlight. Uh, last night that was pretty good. Nope, nope, not him. I wanted. Jump back. What was that? Oh, that was to been one of the oh, thing Don't, no, I don't want to. Here, you go off the edge. I'll stay here. Nope. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Oh. My dog just ran away, and I was like, I wonder why that is. I think it's because um, uh, Ace of Cardi walked out of Batman versus Superman. I mean, you know, I say stay for the end at least. You know, then you, at least you can be like, I hate that movie. And people are like, why? And you can tell them why instead of being like, I don't know. On the other hand, you know. Oh, shit. God damn it. Motherfucking motherfuckers. I need more, I need to allocate more into, um, more Estus Flasks into health because I'm just not using the magic as much or I'm wasting it on the ground like that. Okay. Got some worker garb there. All right. I mean, I guess I probably could have been doing this the entire time. Instead of bothering with my super light armor and long sword. Johnny Star, that is correct. He does get the pleasure. He can now tell everybody, I walked out, it was so terrible. Um Ah, ah, that's exactly it was just what I needed. It was just what I needed. That's the shards. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think there's a bonfire that I can get to over here that will uh, help with my predicament. So let's just use up all of the all of the flasks. Ah, good, 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 good. Um. Not mistaken, there's some eh, arseholes. Yep, I'm just waiting to get up. Arseholes! 
Mr. Tran asks, am I going to see Keanu? Uh, I would really like to see Keanu. Um, the trailer for that looked really fucking hilarious. I, you know, illegal Swede, I'm, I, I realize that at this particular point in human history, Hollywood does not uh, really understand why I like Superman um, or really have any desire to cater to my idea of, oh shit, of Superman. So, uh, you know, it's whatever. It's what it is. <laughs> Hate cats might be a little bit more might be stated the case a little bit more strongly than I think that I normally would, but uh, I mean, you know, dislike is probably a slightly better Oh, you know what? I think that if I drop down there, I think I might die if I just drop. Let's see. Uh, can I use this as like a little ledge just to get a little, 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 little over here? Nope! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Boy oh boy. <laughs> that was great. I like just just ran out of everything, man. Just ran out of everything. Scared of cats. I'm not scared of cats. Well, I'm a little scared of cats. That's yeah, okay. I right, I'll cop to that. I'm a, I'm a bit scared of cats. All right. Let's see if we can't just fucking go through here. I like the design on the uh, villagers' uh, little uh, those things. Those like hands. Pretty cool. All right. So now that we've got everything in this area, we can just run. Oh, damn it! What about play cats? What's a play cat? Like a pretend cat? Or like a cat that that you play with, like for real, real, not for play, play. I mm? I don't know what the, I don't know what a play cat is. You guys are gonna have to tell me that. That's, that's like some kind of new internet thing. Damn it! Damn it! God damn it! Nope! Fuck off with your bullshit! Oh, the play cats. Um, I don't. I've never seen it, so I couldn't say. Couldn't say one way or the other. Oops! Shit! I thought for sure that I hit him. Samurai pizza cats. Those those samurai pizza cats. They're not too bad. They're not. They're not the worst cats. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this fuck face, and then we're gonna go back and. Oh, God damn it. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to take care of this fuck face. We go get to the next bonfire. We're going to go back and upgrade, reallocate some Estus. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Fucking. Oh, my life. My life is the worst. I don't. I don't think. I, again, I think I'm out of. I don't think I have it. Ah, oh, Jesus. And now, Jugman. Get away from me with your jug. I don't want to buy whatever it is that you're, whatever it is you're selling. Nope, can't get over here this way. Nope. How about down here? All right. Be a little bit less. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Ugh, there we go. Whoo! I'm trying, Dr. Von Boogie. I'm, tr I'm doing my best to hit up that old onion night. Um, it's just, it's not. Ain't, ain't going the way that I want it to right at the moment. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I learned early on uh, with my first playthrough that I just, just allocated all my Estus flasks to Estus instead of Ashen Estus or whatever it is. That is what I wasn't using the FP as much. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and I think I can do some upgrades here. Any updates on Kayla, asked Mr. Tran. Yeah, she's doing her thing. Ah, I mean, Kayla's hard. Kayla. Um, I miss her, too. I wish I wish she came more often, but, uh, you know, well, that's that's what it is. Uh, and then let's go ahead and allot the Estes like that. Okay, that just gives us a little bit more. 
And I don't think Fluffmaster Fluffmeister Jose asks, is this game worth the funny money? I, I assume that he means like buying a bunch of yen. Um I think so, but I'm not exactly the most I'm not exactly the well okay, you know what? No. I'm gonna go with no. Because right now, um you can get it, but you can't summon anybody. You can't see any, uh, like any of the messages on the ground. Uh, none of that stuff is in the game uh, on the Xbox One version. Um, it is all in English. You can beat it, but like, I, you know, if I wasn't doing this like here for money and stuff, I probably would have waited until it was out on the PlayStation Four. Um, especially now, yeah. Sparks makes a good, uh, a good point of saying that. Um, you know, you just wait at this point, uh, and it probably would be better off. So, all right, let's give this a try here. Uh, the Thunder side. All right, so we're gonna try to get to get to our uh, our good buddy, your friend and mine. Well, no, he's not a he's just, he's a good guy, you know. <coughs> Battle Allison over Jason. I would lose. Allison's a, a, a she's a stabbing kind of person. Bomber BCM says, "Do you feel you spoiled yourself by getting it early?" No, not really. I mean, I usually play through the game the first time, um, kind of solo anyway. So, um, you know, I got to see it, and uh, it was you know not really. <coughs> Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. We got a brand new, we got a brand new jam. We got a brand new location. Let's go ahead and put some magic all up on here. Boom. And uh, get this, uh, get the get the pyromancer out of the box. I only found him like really late in the game. Ow, ouch. Yeah, that's working a little better. A little more, more. Oh, shit. Thought I had you. A little bit more my style. Magic weapon. Magic longsword. Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see. Mm. Now. But here we are. An encounter for the age. Ooh, that's a good question, Boss Captain Ross. Who would be the final I girl the in a slasher movie out of the Rage Select cast? Vessel. I have no clue. Care to learn some pyromances from this old man? Sure. Most wise. A chance encounter should not be squandered. Uh, that's what I always say. But. To reiterate, I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. Cornix! The pleasure is mine. No, no, sir. Alright, I'll see you back at the old, uh, Old homestead. Oh, shit. Well, oh. I guess it's fine now that they aren't throwing all those uh, fire bombs. Aw, Neg Primer. Not the nicest thing. Oh, shit. All oh, right. My thing is in the other hand. These guys hate him so much. Yep. Yep. Let me get a little distance here. Maybe we can uh, use a few soul arrows. Roll right off the edge of a cliff. Don't hit me with a bowl, man. Jeez. Okay. It's also like a bowl full of gore. Gross, dude. Throw your bowl at me. Keep it. Keep it for yourself. Okay, <clears throat> so there's uh, an optional boss up there that we could go to, and then we've got the, uh, down here is a, is a big shit show, uh, but we are going to head in this direction towards an entirely different kind of shit show. Dog, why don't you just stay down there? Or wait, can I even get over there from here? I can get over here from here, right? Yeah. Oh, why are you just standing there? Go on patrol. I don't want to. Uh. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Oh, Final Fantasy King, I'll fight that boss before we're done. That boss is easy. I say right before going in to get just smacked, just slapped around like the dirty, dirty girl I am. Oh, fuck it. All right. This is a big mistake. Big mistake. Damn it. Big mistake. Yep, there's a big mistake. Run, 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 run! Ah, oh, schmack. When do you fight the boss who asks you to come in on a Saturday as postmodernism? The, uh, the, the corporate tool boss of Dark Souls 3? Okay, 13. I really just want to get through that particular area. Um, and I'm kind of doing it in the, like, the most stupid way possible. Oh, I was going to say, hey, can I jump down there? No, is the answer. No, you cannot. Let's see. Can you go out the other side? Uh, go out this way? Yeah. And what do we got? Uh, yeah, okay. That's where we're going. There's my souls. See, look, normally that asshole, he just he's on patrol with his buds. They go and they walk all around, and then you can just run through. Uh, my birthday is coming up, Mr. Tran. It's April 16th, tax day, or day after tax day. Uh, I wonder if I can, can I, can I just drop here? Can I, that's probably won't kill me, right? Rup. Okay. Now we're going to lead you on a merry chase. Don't throw your pots at me. Woo. How spoiled is the game for me, asked Johnny Star? Well, I, I, I beat it. I mean, you know, I bought it when it came out, and I mainlined it until I was finished with it. Oh, shit. Probably. oh this is bad. I did it wrong. Oh, I did it wrong. I've been, I've been bad. I've been bad, and I should be punished. Yep, yep, that's it. <laughs> uh, what do I want for my birthday, asked Postmodernisms. I, I don't know. I, um, the, it's kind of... I don't know. Uh, uh, like, the things that I, I want in life are more than usually what people can get me for my birthday. <laughs> well, Detective FDR, you know, I, like, I'm going to firmly put the, the blame for what just happened there directly on my own shoulders because I ran, uh, I ran so far away. I thought there was, I thought you could get to the other side um, that in going around that building there, but no, you can't, so... Let's see, is Jeff going to be 38? Yes, I am going to be 38. Who's most likely to take rage select in a cor hostile corporate takeover? I don't employ people who are hostile and corporate. I just, you know, it would be like a, a nice uh, indie takeover. You know, that's what it would be. Like a gentle indie takeover of rage select, which is, oh, shit. Ooh, <laughs> not as um, thrilling, even a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let's try the gauntlet one more time. Stop throwing pots at me. Oh, fuck, I got hit by pots again. Go, 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 go. Wee! Please don't follow me. They are not listening. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God, man, you warped through in front of me. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. You go somewhere else. Go back. Go back. Go back to where you came from. No, God damn it. Don't stay in here, you prick. Hey. Fuck for face. Shit for breath. Shit breath. Fuck, fuck face. Get over here. Oh, are you backing up? Are you trying to get out of here? There we go. All right. Uh, I think that the uh, Final Fantasy King. Oh, hello. Pardon, I am Ziegvert of Katarina. Ziegvard. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Ziegvard is stupid. 
Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Maybe for Dance of the Devil in the Pale Moonlight? Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, hmm. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. 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 This lift, oh, with a... I've got to use my head and think. Okay. All right, check this out. Check this out, Zigbert. Check this out. Watch this. Watch. You just you got you watching? It's going to be incredible. Check this out. Oh, snap. Lift only goes down. Dum dum. Dum dum magoo. <laughs> All right. Um I I really like the uh, uh asking somebody um Somebody was asking, Johnny Star was asking if I did his quest line the first time through. No, I totally missed it. Um, I still have yet to see patches where he actually is in the game. Like, uh, he just showed up in my Firelink Shrine at some point and was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, why? I don't know what, what you did. Hey, hey, buddy. Who are you? I have any time. So I'm going to tell you guys right now that, uh, so down... Is it like right around? Uh, see there? See that tree? That's right there. There's a bonfire over there, and when you walk into that area, like these just giant arrows come from the sky and just start destroying the shit out of you, uh, which is what Ziegbird was talking about when he was like, "Have you ever been walking by a white birch tree and an arrow fucked you up?" So you come up here. This guy will actually aggro onto you, and he will try to stomp on you. But if you just talk to him then he'll help you out. And then when you go down there, he'll attack the enemies, but he won't attack you, which is great. Um, and then let's just do, we got another little uh, Ziegbird uh, piece here. So let's see. What's the sourest thing I've ever eaten, Lazy Krogan asks? Probably a, a raw cranberry. Those things suck. Hmm. What? Hmm. Um, Final Fantasy King, are you talking about summoning other people, like other players, into the game? Because the reason for that is because it's technically I'm using like an American Xbox Live account, but I'm not, and so I'm not logged in, and this only is summoning from the Japanese server, if I understand correctly. Hey, buddy, what are you doing over here? Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, Ugh. don't disappear like that. You have me downright worried. But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. I'm really I've tempted to smack him. <laughs> the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> yeah, all right. What else you got? On some days, I begin to doubt myself. Oh. I went up the tower, so I thought. Then somehow ended up here. You don't remember I'm rolling off not halfway? exactly through? sure okay. what happened. Hmm. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast. Oh, that one. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but that thing makes my skin crawl. Hmm. How now? Think twice before you go down that road. Hmm. I could try talking some sense into him. Yeah, it looks like a real sensible big demon. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. <laughs> I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. 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 Resident Evil. I don't think it's a, a matter of people in Japan not playing it. I think it's the. I think it's what server I'm logged into that's really causing the problem. Uh, Punisher asks, "What stats should I worry about as a warrior in Dark Souls 2?" Kind of depends on just the. I, I build around weapons personally, so it just depends on what weapon you're going to be using. All right, Ziegbert, come on. No, you should have waited. I didn't want to wait. Well, it's too late now. Oops. <laughs> I was actually punching him with my fist there. How about you? Get him, Zigbard. You get him. You make him pay for his his milk and his his fire. Make him pay for his fiery ways. Get him. I'm, I'll be over here helping with tiny, tiny soul arrows that don't do jack shit. Okay, fine. I will use swords that do do jack shit. <laughs> do 
do. Ow, it's so burning. Burninating the countryside. What trader? Woo! Oh, thanks, Ruskles. I've uh, been doing a little mini reviews recently. Uh, Final Fantasy King, I think I probably could, but I would probably then need to buy Xbox Gold for that Japanese account, which might end up costing me more. So, and I don't know if I'm just, I'm, you know, I'll wait a few days and get on the PS4. That was quite a performance, but you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. Yeah, he said duties. But for the moment, we have a toast to make. The Ziegbrow. To your valor, my sword, and our victory together. Huzzah! Lord. <laughs> Yay! And I got the toast emote. And then I love this too, as you talk to him, we come down, we had this big fight, we had our toast, and then he's like, Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> And I love this, because he just, blah, he is instantaneously out. Um, Boss Captain Ross says, do I feel that Bloodborne has any influence on the graphics or on the gameplay or aesthetics of this game? I think that the engine in this game looks a lot more like Bloodborne. There's some areas that are very much kind of like big big uh, areas with a lot of tombstones in them. I feel like it owes a lot to Bloodborne. I do feel like they took the advice of, or the criticism of not having the world as full of just garbage as it is in Bloodborne. Fuck that. I'm going to wear some... I'm, now I'm going to wear some... Uh, wear some armor. Fat roll! Fat roll! Oh, I'm not going to... Jack Sacks, I'm really bad at kicking in this game. Actually, I'm not going to... I can't. I can't deal with that fat of a roll. Um, let's go back to all this stuff. Uh, I would probably end up just slashing him, <laughs> which I guess you know I'm probably not going to continue to continue the the story of butt stuff much after. So we got about 40 minutes left. Um, so that rolling is fat. Yo, it's a fat roll. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we haven't really seen that many of these assholes. Just fuck you. Fuck you. Just picking stuff up, all right? Just fuck you. All right. Dogs. Always with the dogs. Come on, dog. Yo, dog. I heard you like long swords. No, that's a, that's that's bad. Well, I shouldn't do that. All right. Get ourselves a little warp. human pine resin. Oh shit! These motherfuckers. All right. Ah, oh, barf. Barf, barf, barf. I'm not even gonna go back. I'm not even gonna go back and get that. Fuck it. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go hit the boss. We can go on to the swamp. Um, get a little bit more in. There's there's a ton of things to do in this second area. So, uh, let's see. I do want the ashes. Fourteen or fifteen, something like that. Oh. Uh, uh, see, I can go around the back way. Yes, I can. See, so, yeah, there's a whole place down here where you can you can talk to some other characters. You can get the cleric trainer. Um, requires picking up the ash and going back and buying this key. There's another key. The reason, the best reason to keep um, Sigmire alive is you want at least one of those Zeke brows. Um, if you are uh, looking to get a particular sunlight-drenched uh, armor set. But, uh, you know, how it goes. 
Ouch. So I'm going to try to follow these, this little train of assholes um, and go around to the... Is this where the... Uh, sort of the entrance to like the sewer is down here. Is that what that this is? Yes. Yeah, okay. I remember this dog. Can I come around backwards? Yeah, this is a really nifty little area. Like it's got a bunch of little twists and turns and this little sewer part. Um, there's even like this goes over to where that cathedral or the place with the giant is. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little, a nice little area, and there's there's about four other little places that we just haven't gone to. Um, I know you mainly game on a PS4 or PC, but do you have any recommendation for Xbox One games? Uh, Quantum Break and Sunset Overdrive. I really like Killer Instinct quite a bit. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm just kind of I'm not super up on my Xbox One games. Usually I would just say go to Metacritic and look and see what the highest ranked things on Metacritic are. Oh yeah. Uh, um, Ori in the Blind Forest, that's a good one. Oh, Johnny Star, I'm just going to do it real fast. It won't take but a minute. It won't take but a minute. I got the time. Come on, dude. Throw them. Throw them. Uh. Ah, shit. Also, I want to get the, uh, the uh, bone dust. Okay, grab Partition's Ashes. So the vendor in the shrine, uh, you give her ashes, various ashes, and she'll give you, um, she'll sell different stuff to you. Come on, dude. This guy's such a, he's a bad shot. Which I shouldn't say that. He was a great shot when he was shooting at me the first time I came through here. There we go. Should give me a little leeway. Haha! -ha, you can't get up here. I like the fact that you can see the arrows. Can you? Yeah, you can see them coming in. Okay. Oh yeah, I got some new clothes. Maybe this uh, cleric robes will be a little bit better. I'll stay below fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm a cleric. I got a big thing on my back. Ha ha ha. You dumb jerk. I'm friends with a giant. That's right. Pixel, ember, firebomb, you know my branch. Reinforce club. All right, so let's go through here. Excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Big scythe. Ow. Uh, Present Evil. I don't know. I'm not much of a bow guy. Um, I know you can get great bows later on in the game, and they have like the big dragon slayer arrows. Um, not entirely sure though. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go chop down the tree. I mean, who knows? This might work. Might not. Let's just go ahead and boop. Okay. Shouldn't take but a few minutes.
Uh, as Saudi asks, have you ever used an exploit to beat a boss in a Souls game slash Bloodborne? I don't, th I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think I have. Um, I know there was some kind of like memory leak thing in Bloodborne early on, but I don't know if I actually ended up using that. Okay, I'm gonna go set my set my flasks a little bit differently here, and burn that uh, ash real fast. Proto Evo zero zero. Any chance of Master of Orion for early access Friday? That's a good question. Um, I have, um, I have uh, kind of had that put off for a little while just because I'm not really very good at those sorts of games, and I don't know, like, if it's really worth showing a game like that if I'm just like really terrible uh, at it. So let's see. Do I have a? Um, uh, do I have a? Do I have another shard in my inventory? I don't think I do. Do I? Okay, no. Oh, but I do want to allot it. Yeah, I'll just make it all uh, all Good regular day, Estus. Jax asks, asks, favorite boss in a Souls game? Yeah, I know it's kind of a... Um, I know it's kind of a cliche answer, but man, I am. Uh, Ornstein and Smo are really just like, they're really, that's a, such a good fight. It's such a big, interesting fight. Oh yeah, well the, the giant, the, the big, uh, the um, Ceaseless Discharge, is that the name of the guy in Dark Souls 1? Who you run back and he falls off the ledge, I think I don't necessarily count that as a, a cheat, um, but if it is, then yeah, that would be the one that I've never actually, I've never done that. I've never uh, beaten him. I never, like, fought him. I've always let him slip and fall. Dr. Von Boogie asks if I ever think about doing, like, uh, um, like giveaways and give away all my old games. But I like my old games. That's my my old games. Uh, who's on the podcast this week? Asked Sparks. It's actually Joe a second time. I know I don't normally two Z's up as I have been with both like John and Joe over the last couple weeks, but um, you know, normally I try to kind of have somebody different on every week, but it's just the way that the sketches have been working recently. Um, that's just been what's happened, so. Yeah. Okay get rid of this jerk. Got 30 minutes left. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, and I hope you guys like listening to people complain about Batman versus Superman because we did a whole bunch more of it <laughs> this week. Euro Salamander, you can send in a question for the podcast whenever you want to. Um, it won't get on this week's podcast, but you can certainly send it in. Um, we usually record the podcast on like a Wednesday or Thursday during the week. Um, so. Ow. Jesus. Jesus. Cheese and crackers. Why don't you mess up your own guys? Why don't you? Damn it. Red eyes. Not your hand. Oh no, not the butt! He's so goofy, this guy. Uh oh, woohoo! Woohoo! Got flat. Ooh, kind of expected to get mashed with that one. Keep one on this one? No. Oh, God, God. This junk. Ah. Gross. That one on your elbow. Elbow pop. I mean, like, it's weird. It's like you're popping. It's like a freaking internet uh, zip pop video or whatever. Damn right. Now let's go. Go do it for real, Z's. Do your thing. Oh, no, not yet. Oh, yep, yep, it's time. Hey, dude. 
holy shit again. He's got a hand crotch. Hand to crotch. Woohoo! Oh, hit the ones on his back. Oh, man. Woohoo! Gonna lay down again? Nope. Oh, he's, he's shedding these little pustule monsters. Wait, can I use my uh, spells to hit his little pus? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay, so I gotta aim it the right way. Go. That's it. Jerk. You jerk. Two-ton jerk. What do we got left? Hand? The one off of his hand? Oh. What? Is it just his crotch now? I can, maybe I can actually put my magic to good use. Drink, drink, get out of the way! <laughs> Fuck it, man, I'm gonna take the hits. Take the, take the hits. Uh, ah, drink, 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 drink! Hit him, hit him in his pus marks! Oh, crap! Ooh, that was close. Come on, tilt your crotch down a little bit. Damn it! Good drink, drink, drink. Oh no! Oh, barf! Barf! All right. Son of a crap! Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I just had a thought. Mm -hmm. I should be using two-handed. All right, let's go. Maybe I'll pop a, um, pop a, uh, uh, some, uh, fire shards. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not t telling about sequentials, guys. I got a few ideas. I don't know. We'll see. See how it goes. Sometimes uh, yes, sometimes no. Uh oh. Ouchie. Ouchie. Well, President Evil, that's what happens, man. That's what happens at Dark Souls. You die. This wasn't supposed to be Jeff's Super Pro Challenge. Man, I would have picked a different class if that was that. All right, so let's. Uh Throw the old embers up. Give him a little extra health. Sharpen up the sword. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Fort Worth, what's up, N7 Human Soldier Tom? It's a mouthful right there. Hey, you. Hey. Yoop, 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 yoop. All right. All right, you giant sack of fucking pustules and tree syphilis. Let's do this. Curse rotted jerkwood. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, look, I'm infected. You got the curse. You got the infection. Whoa, why am I like. Walking now, okay. My controller is broken. Blame it all on a broken controller. Alright, so hit him in the thigh. No. Alright. Hit him in the squaw in the nuts. In the nuts. I think it's interesting that Dark Souls 3 has a boss. If you attack his nuts, just kick him in the nuts. Stop him in the nuts. Killed me. Give it 
with a double. How about your little ankle? Ha-ha! Time to go down, downtown, downstairs. No, I didn't need to, not to and I got hit too. Okay, what? Oh, I was about to say, that seems really bizarre. Let's see, oh, damn it. Let me try a little bit more backside action here. Whoa. Staggers. Okay. This ankle still have a little juice left in it? No. Ah, son of a crap on my butts. Ugh. No! Damn, dude. Damn. I really have some pretty serious problems with this guy. I've never had as much difficulty with this asshole before. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Man! <laughs> Boy, howdy. No good. All right. This is this is disgraceful. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna like, I feel like I should just start this last 30 minutes and uh, and just see how quickly with the uh, with deprived I can get to the same area because I feel like I feel like I would have already beaten this whole thing if it wasn't for fucking magics. Um, I mean, you know, that's me blaming it, but. Get out here! Get out here, Hammer Brother! Fucking dash, rip rock. Okay, well, hmm, uh, hmm. I did. I fucking uh, yes, I did. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm curious. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see how fast, how how far I can get in 20 minutes with my deprived build that I've been working on. I'm gonna try it. I'm tired of dying this guy over and over again. Let's go. Oh, oh Doctor Von Boogie. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, indeed, we are. Uh, I'm gonna call you Yurt. Uh, you're gonna be deprived. No, nope. deprived. Life ring. Just boom. Done. Yes. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Yeah, I'm. T I'm. You know. Sorry, I that was just horrifying. Yurt is one of the biggest assholes in the franchise. Yurt is worse than Patches. I will say that. I will definitely say. Yurt is a fucking tool and a half. All right, go. <coughs> Let's see. Let's just try this shit. Like, just go, go, go. Just see. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. You know, like, I'm, I, it's possible. I know that there's a lot of cases where mages and Dark Souls can end up being very overpowered. Um, I'm just not as much of a mage guy uh, as normal. So um, 
I just want to see, you know, I'm going to skip a lot of shit here. I just want to see how fast I can go. So. <clears throat> Fuck it. Don't even care. Fuck it. Don't even care. <laughs> Illegal Swede says, I fully expect you to finish the game in 20 minutes. Ah, that would be great. Okay, so there's Judex. And now we're off to um, off to uh, Vort of the Valley of the Valley. I'm going to just bypass a lot of this horse shit. We're going to go real quick. I'm going to try to get the shield that I want and um, the uh, uh, the um, deep uh, axe. Other than that, we're just rolling. Uh, let's see. What do I want here? I want some armor from you. Yeah, I want some strength from you. Talk. Very well then take. One, a whole one. Okay. So put in the thing. And go. Jeff, would you spare your enemy if their mother had the same name as yours? <laughs> I like to think a lot more about what I make enemies and why I make them uh, uh, before I actually make a, a spear with a, a tip that is made of uh, um, radioactive rocks. So uh, that's more uh, that's more my style when I play or when I uh, when I make an enemy. Okay, so we're gonna see how fast can we get to um, the boss. We're looking to get one Estus flask shard, the silver shield, uh, the deep axe, and enough um, of the enough souls that we can level up to level. I believe strength of twelve is what I need for that. I should have allocated my Estus better. Okay, so let's go. Fuck everything. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sorry, folks. I know I'm not talking as much as I normally do, but I'm kind of concentrating a little bit. A smidge. A smidge, a smadge. Yep. 
didn't want to come in here. You come in here. I got a club this time, all right? Okay, well, making me look a fool. And there is the first. Okay. <laughs> bad at Dark Souls. Jeff is bad at Dark Souls. I forgot those guys follow you in there. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Yup. Just the worst. All right, Lothric, let's fucking do this. A Midnight Madness for this. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, um, I definitely want to have a physical copy of Dark Souls 3. So that means that if I did do a Midnight Man Madness, I'd have to check and see if, like, uh, GameStop or somebody was doing an actual midnight launch event. Ouch. 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 And, oh boy, skin of a butt. Okay. Yep. Also bad at jumping. Damn. Well, Mimics, um, okay. Mimics apparently will kill me in one hit even if I have armor on. So there you go. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's been a, a total goddamn shit show. Uh, <laughs> even, with the, even with me like, oh, I'm totally going to do it with this character. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be so much better this time around. You won't even believe how good I am at this game. Ah, bah, 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 bah. And, uh, yeah, so, oh, boy. Yeah, Dark Souls, uh, Souls games always make a monkey, always make me look like a jerk. They make me, like, I always talk a big game, and I'm like, I love these games, they're my favorite. They're like, why? And I'm like, because they're fun, and they're not that hard if you know what you're doing. And then they're like, all right, show us. And then I do, and it's like, you don't know what you're doing. I'm like, ah, it seems like I don't. Why? Uh, do I have any firebombs? I'm just going to cheese this guy. Nope, I didn't pick any of them up. I do want that axe that he's got. And... Ugh. All right. I, I fucking... Fucking... I'm done. I'm done. I don't. I don't. I don't want to do the same more. Um, yeah, I'm in in the stream ten minutes early. Um, sorry. Uh, this is just to become kind of a grind, and I don't like reading about how much of a jerk I am. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. We'll have the podcast up in about an hour. Uh, sorry that this has been such a colossal crap show, uh, but hey, at least we got to see um, old um, what's his face, the Onion Knight. So thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all of the folks. Thanks for hanging in with me and asking me questions and uh, letting me uh, do my thing. So um, we'll catch you next week, and have a good evening.